Good morning and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to have a nice walk in the forest. I was thinking to go together uh, nearby Leiden in Bastena, which is a small village which has uh, a nice park, an area full of plants. There is also a small lake which was in the past uh, residence of the king and the queen of the Netherlands. So let's go together to find an inspiration for our next dish. Uh, maybe a couple of ingredients that we can uh, search together today. Let's go! So, just took a wonderful uh, walk into the forest. The temperature is getting a little bit cold here in the Netherlands and uh, that also leave you when you are walking for two hours an empty space in the stomach and how can you fill it up better than with a pumpkin's ravioli maybe with mushroom I would love to recognize the correct mushroom for, uh, yeah, which are eatable. So if anybody uh, knows and or have some tips to give me, please feel free to write down a comment. I will keep it in mind for my, uh, <laughs> for my future recipes. Those are amazing. They're growing on a rotten tree or those I don't think you can eat them but you can uh, definitely take a look inside the tree probably you cannot eat them but you can definitely take a beautiful picture here there is so much moisture smell and so many mushrooms that I know really feel like mushroom I search for it, but I cannot find anyone that I know for sure that I'm not gonna get sick. So I think I'm gonna buy one, maybe some a porcini mushroom if I can find them, and otherwise some other mushroom. But they give some nice taste together with the pumpkin. What about a nice pumpkin, ravioli, orange? With the orange, of course, call from the pumpkin itself. I think it's a very nice recipe. So let's go home and cook a cozy autumn dish to enjoy together. Um, so first we need the basic, the main ingredients. So it means uh, pumpkins and mushroom. For the pumpkins, I have an idea. We can go to a nice spot in Leitzendam, so a few kilometers away from uh, Forskoten. There we can buy um, uh, pumpkins directly from the source, from the market, from, sorry, from the, from the fields. So, very nice place. I, oh, I go since uh, I think 10 years since I, uh, since I uh, know this place and uh, there you have all choices of uh, pumpkins of every, any sort, the Japanese kind, the classic, I don't know the name, the classic uh, yellow ball, the long one that looks like an eggplant. Afterwards we're gonna go to the market so we can uh, have a look there. Normally there is a spot where they sell the mushrooms. Sometimes they also have fresh mushrooms. So I don't know if we can find a fresh porcini this time, but we definitely gonna find mushroom. And I'm sure, pretty sure uh, the porcini as well. Maybe not fresh, maybe dry, but uh, and maybe anyway. Ravioli with pumpkins and mushrooms is a very light uh, recipe. In fact, when you don't put uh, uh, cheese or animal products um, into the filling, you can actually say that you are, you can say, you, you, you have actually a vegan product, yeah? Because you have just flour, you have uh, uh, the mushrooms, 
and uh, and pumpkins. So it's a very good product, very healthy, very light, easy to digest, and very tasty. Maybe we have to find a good uh, wine that we can uh, associate to the dish, so we can uh, enjoy hopefully an Italian wine, so we can enjoy the Italian way. Huh? So now I'm driving and see you later. Pumpkins are very rich of useful properties, uh, like a high quantity of mineral salts, potassium and manganese, and of course several vitamins. It's consisting in 94% of water, so it's perfect to keep our body hydrated. Later in my kitchen I will tell you 5 curiosities you probably don't know about pumpkins. So the only thing missing now are uh, good mushrooms. So we are here at the market in Leiden and hopefully we can find uh, a very good porcini, maybe fresh, hopefully. Let's see if we are lucky enough. You have to keep them in a dry dark place. Okay, we are back in the kitchen. The winter is coming because it's getting a little bit chilly outside. But it's now time to uh, enjoy our uh, recipe. We decided to make a ravioli. Ravioli with pumpkin and mushroom. In the market we found uh, some dry uh, porcini and I would suggest to use them uh, for the sauce and uh, mainly. We can also put them inside uh, our uh, filling. Fill the ravioli with some champignon and porcini. But the majority of the porcini we leave them for the sauce. So, we need... Uh, let's prepare our ingredients. We need the pumpkin, we need um, uh, the dough, so flour, probably with durum, um, and uh, parmesan. Let's collect all the ingredients and prepare our meal. There are controversial idea about mushroom that you can uh, clean them just with some brush, uh, keep them dry so that they don't absorb uh, water and that means that they keep the taste like they have. Uh, other people say that you can uh, instead flush them very fast so that the old pieces of earth can uh, flush away uh, and dry them as fast as you can so that they don't absorb water but they actually get completely clean and you don't have a sand in your mouth. So I prefer to follow this one because I really don't like to have sand in my mouth when I'm eating. cut our mushrooms, we start uh, frying a little bit of crushed garlic and onion in a very hot uh, oil and then we're gonna add the mushroom. Parmesan cheese, originally from Italy. Yeah, it's an Italian channel at the end, even if you're speaking in a different language. Okay, we start with the garlic. The garlic we use it to um, crush it very fast, and at the end of the of the cooking process, you can of course choose to take it out unless you like it, like me, and then uh, you keep it. It's garlic very healthy, so I suggest if you don't like if you don't dislike the taste uh, to keep it. A little bit of water. I believe it's much healthier than, uh, than uh, oil. And the taste of the final recipe 
would be also good. Now it's time to add the mushroom. By cooking the mushroom not only gets soft, but also releases all the toxicity, which is not good of course. And that's why we uh, shouldn't eat the raw mushroom. For extra flavor, I like to add some uh, herbs with it. Mm, it's a pity that you cannot smell with me. It already smells really great. <laughs> and then we can add the parmesan and create our um, filling for the ravioli. Meantime, I'm ready. When we take the mushroom out of our bowl, it's the best to keep the water in the bowl and keep the fill as much as possible dry. The reason is that if you make the ravioli and you eat them right away, they will probably not, go, not be a problem. But if you make the filling too wet, the pasta around will absorb the water and will ruin your, uh, your product completely. Parmesan. And then of course, always taste it. Mmm, to be sure that it's perfect. For our dough, we choose three ingredients. Wheat durum semolina, two eggs, and uh, our favorite um, pumpkin. I choose this one, orange and nice and quite sweet, so I really like it. We're gonna put more or less 35 to 40% of um, uh, smashed uh, uh, pumpkin. So we have to steam it, cut it, steam it, and then uh, smash it like a, like a puree and add it to the flour together with some uh, two eggs and some water. Let's wash it first. We need to steam them for, uh, for about uh, 10 minutes. Our pumpkins are practically ready and it's now time to let them cool down and later we will mix it to create the pasta. We have to mix to create a creamy liquid together with two eggs. For the pasta, we use this wonderful machine, which is a program for exactly our quantity, 500 gram, and we have our mix of pumpkin and egg. In case you are at home, you don't have a machine like that and you create your dough with your hands, Remember always to have a very solid, compact form. It's very important that once you put the two layers of dough of pasta on it, you have to be sure that you take away the air, otherwise they open during cooking process. Okay? So you close the beginning and then with the hands you go in between the filling and you push slightly to close. And then with the stamp, here we have our first raviolo. I'm using some garlic, but only one piece, a big piece, 
Mm. But this time, instead of putting it in the pan completely uh, in one uh, full piece, I will smash it after having warm up and heat well the, the oil. But the fire at the moment is at the minimum, it's very small, because I don't want to burn the, gar the garlic, and I want uh, just to have uh, a very fresh, tasty uh, flavor. You see, it's already slightly frying, it's already time to put uh, just one champignon to have a different shape in our uh, in our sauce and slightly heat them and as soon as they are a little bit uh, more soft we're gonna add uh, the uh, porcini mushroom once we add some milk uh, to the pan just be sure that you uh, mix all together with the low fire you don't want to burn and uh, dry out so early for the best flavor we can uh, also use some butter not too much just a small piece like that again you cannot smell it but ooh. Mm. the last part of milk and we rise the fire slightly And now, buon appetito!